I'm gonna tear the father of all modelers apart to see if it's any good inside. The vintage guitar player's nightmare device has an issue, and I, as a professional, am obligated to help anyone in need even if that person uses a modeler. This one is actually used by many, so I could say that it's proven its reliability. The problem reported is the usual thing. Some switches don't react when pressed, sometimes. Naturally, when I tried it, everything worked flawlessly, but I knew what needed to be done. Oh, and look at this, standard consequence of singers running around the stage like there's no one else there, so they kind of step on things. Taking this one apart is actually pretty simple, because unlike other toys, Germans made this one well. Also, it's cool that they separated PCBs with sensitive stuff from the things that are under mechanical stress and are frequently repaired. In addition to that, they used LAN cables to connect them, much fancier than those this Custing flat cables. When I reach the small switches inside, you can clearly see the owner works on a farm during the day and plays weddings at nights in the same boots. The good thing is, these momentary switches don't always need replacing. You can pump in some isopropyl alcohol, wiggle wiggle and repeat the process a couple of times. Sometimes it solves the problem. Naturally, I took the whole thing apart to clean all the accumulated crap inside and I even lubricated those mechanical foot switches for better feel when you're switching between your hot rodded Marshall presets. After, I patch it all back together and I check if it even works after this surgery. And then it's time to see if it sounds better than my high ones. Mm -hmm. 